my kindergarten friends. This week we are going to be looking at an artwork by an artist whose name is Pablo Picasso. Can you say Pablo? Good. Can you say Picasso? Fantastic. This artist painted a lot of different kinds of paintings. He painted portraits, he painted landscapes, he even painted a picture of a flower bouquet. It's called the Bouquet of Peace, and that is the artwork that we are going to look at this week, and it is going to inspire our flower painting artwork. That's right, we're going to be painting flowers just like Pablo Picasso did. But first, we have to draw them, and that is going to be our goal this week to draw beautiful flowers on our paper that we will be able to paint just like Pablo Picasso painted his flowers. Let's take a look at his artwork. Here's the work titled Bouquet of Peace, and it was done in 1958 by Pablo Picasso. Now that you've seen his artwork, let's get started drawing some flowers. Let's go! All right, my kindergarten friends, guess what? Today we are painting some flowers. Before we get started, I'm gonna tell you a few supplies you're gonna need. You're gonna need a large tan paper. It's a big one. And a smaller tan paper. Your handy dandy pencil. A black crayon. And next class, we're going to need a watercolor palette, just like this one. And we're also going to need a water cup with some paint brushes. So if you don't have one, be sure to get one. Those are the things we're going to need to be creative artists today. Let's get started by making some sketches of some flowers. We're going to have to start by practicing that shape we talked about already. What shape do I have here? A circle. You got it. Now, you don't want to draw your circle too teeny tiny because that's going to make your petals hard to draw. Your circle should be about the size of a golf ball or a ping pong ball. This is too tiny. This is too big. But this size, about the size of a golf ball or a ping pong ball, is perfect. Once you've drawn that perfect circle for the center of your flower, you're going to use that arch line to draw your petals, just like we used for our rainbow. When you draw those petals, you want them to be consistent or similar. You want them all to look the same, about the same size, about the same height, all the way around your flower. That means you have to go slow and take your time. I practice one and I think it looks great. I'm gonna practice another one. Again, is this circle big enough? No way! You could use that circle, but outside of it, try to get a circle as big as a ping pong ball. In this one, I'm going to have some lines radiating from that center circle out to my bigger circle. I'm going to kind of make this one look like a sunflower. I'm going to give it a bit pointier leaves. Taking my time drawing around the outside of that circle, filling it up with flower petals. Don't rush, take your time. Ms. Vasella's gonna know if you did this. That's rushing. Take your time, do a nice circle, do flower petals around it, trying to make them all the same. After you've practiced some flowers, you're gonna go on to your final copy paper, the big one. Your paper was probably folded in half in your bag and it has a line right here. You're gonna draw your flowers above the line, up here, on the top part of your paper. 
Remember, you're trying to draw the center of your flowers the size of a golf ball or a ping pong ball. I'm gonna do one here, one out here, one out here, and one up top. You need to have four flowers. I'm gonna start by drawing those circles. When I draw them, I'm gonna space them out so that I have room to draw my petals around them. Perfect. This one's gonna have big, tall petals. Taking my time. And a small circle in the center. This one is gonna have short, fat petals. Squishy arched lines. Now remember, you can use your creativity. Your flowers do not have to look exactly like my flowers. You can design your flowers in any way you would like. My next flower, it's gonna have really tall, skinny, arched lines. Uh-oh, what's about to happen? I'm about to run off my paper. That's okay. It could run off the paper and then just continue when you get to the other side. Okay, I need one more flower. This flower, I think I'm going to do a tiny flower on the inside with more petals on the outside. You could draw your flowers like I did, or you could look at a picture of a flower and try to draw it a different way. After you drew your flowers, we're going to look at the bottom of this paper. At the bottom of your paper, you're going to lay your hand down and you are going to draw a line across the top of your hand. So that my thumb is against the bottom of my paper. I laid my hand down and I'm going to try my best to draw a straight horizontal line across my paper like that. That's going to be the table that our vase is going to sit in. Our vase, we're going to start at that middle line and draw a diagonal down to the table. Another diagonal down to the table with a little space in between. You're going to draw a curved line. And then this is our vase. We need to get our flower stems into our vase. A flower stem has two lines so that the flower can suck up the water and get the nutrients that it needs. So not just one line, you need two lines for your flower. I'm going to draw one coming from this flower. Oh, now this one's tricky. This line's going to have to curve down, curve down into my flower pot. There we go. I've got stems for all my flowers. Then down here at the bottom of our paper, we're going to try to make this look like a checkered tablecloth. So you need to draw one, two more horizontal lines, and then we're going to draw a vertical in the middle and two verticals on each side. So I have one, I need two over here, and two over here. Now I have a checkered tablecloth that my vase is sitting on top of. The last thing that we're going to do today on our final copy is use your handy dandy black crown and trace all your pencil lines. When you trace, you need to go slow, take your time, and stay right on top of what you already drew in pencil. You're tracing over top of your drawing you did in pencil. When you're all done tracing with your handy dandy black crown, we are finished with our final copy artwork for today, but save it because next time we're gonna be painting it. We're gonna be painting it with our watercolors next Class, you do not need to paint it yet. 
just save it for next time. I can't wait to paint with you next time. I hope you had fun drawing your fantastic flowers. All right, kindergarten friends, I'm sure your flower artworks look beautiful. I can't wait to see them. Remember, don't paint them. We're going to do that next class. Keep them though. Don't lose your flower artwork because we're going to need it in order to try out some painting techniques next time.